In the tumultuous landscape of the 11th century, the Seljuk Empire was on the rise, marked by territorial expansions and the establishment of a powerful dynasty. However, within the heart of this burgeoning empire, a complex narrative unfolded, the Seljuk Uyghurs conflict. This clash of powers would play a pivotal role in shaping the course of history, influencing the political landscape and the destiny of the Seljuk Turks. The story begins in the vast expanse of Central Asia, where the Yogas Turks, a nomadic and fiercely independent tribal confederation, roamed the steppes. These were a people deeply connected to their traditions, proud of their nomadic lifestyle, and unyielding in their commitment to preserving their identity. The Seljuk Turks, on the other hand, had recently emerged as a dominant force under the leadership of Turul Beg, the founder of the Great Seljuk Sultanate. As the Seljuks expanded their influence, the Oghurs found themselves at the crossroads of change. The nomadic way of life they cherished was threatened by the encroaching Seljuk power. The clash was not merely about territorial disputes but embodied a struggle for autonomy, cultural preservation, and the right to forge their destiny. The early encounters between the Seljuks and the Oghurs were marked by skirmishes over resources and grazing lands. The Seljuks, driven by their desire to consolidate power, sought to assert control over the Oghurs territories. The Oghurs, fiercely protective of their way of life, resisted these encroachments, leading to a protracted conflict that would define the era. The conflict escalated as both sides sought alliances to strengthen their positions. The Seljuks, with their burgeoning empire, formed alliances with other Turkic tribes, leveraging their military might and political influence. Meanwhile, the Oghurs, recognizing the need for solidarity, united various tribal factions under a common cause, the preservation of Oghurs' identity and independence. The battleground stretched across the vast landscapes of Central Asia, witnessing a series of battles that ebbed and flowed. Both the Seljuks and the Oghurs displayed remarkable strategic prowess, each side adapting to the unique challenges posed by the terrain and the nomadic nature of the conflict. The struggle for dominance was not confined to military confrontations alone, it played out in the intricate web of diplomatic negotiations, alliances, and betrayals. Amidst the chaos of conflict, charismatic leaders emerged on both sides. The Seljuk commanders, seasoned by their earlier conquests, faced off against Oghurs chieftains, revered for their mastery of the nomadic way of warfare. These leaders became symbols of resilience and determination, rallying their respective forces with speeches that echoed across the steppes. The conflict reached a turning point as the Seljuks, recognizing the formidable spirit of the Oghurs, initiated diplomatic overtures. Negotiations ensued, leading to a delicate balance between the Seljuk expansion and the preservation of Oghurs' autonomy. The agreement forged a path for coexistence, allowing the Oghurs to maintain their nomadic traditions while acknowledging the overarching authority of the Seljuk Empire. This resolution marked a crucial chapter in the consolidation of Seljuk power. The Seljuks, by recognizing the value of cultural diversity within their empire, strengthened their rule and created a foundation for future stability. The Oghurs, while yielding to a larger political entity, secured their autonomy and contributed to the rich tapestry of the Seljuk Empire. In the annals of history, the Seljuk Oghurs conflict stands as a testament to the complexities of power, identity, and diplomacy in the medieval world. It is a story of resilience, adaptation, and the forging of a path forward in the face of inevitable change. As the dust settled on the Central Asian steppes, the echoes of this conflict reverberated through the corridors of time, leaving an indelible mark on the legacy of the Seljuk Empire.